Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be Aries, Sun, Moon and Rising, weekly tarot reading, September 9th to September 15th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a couple of seconds, guys, to give a good shuffle to the cards and uh, we can jump right into it. So the first card, which represents the very topic of the uh, Aries week, the very theme there is going to be the star card, followed by the next one, which stands for the challenges that you guys have to cope with here. That will be the eight of wands. Then we do have the positive aspect of the week. That is going to be the Empress card. And then the last one here is going to be the guidance that Saru is offering for Aries. We do have the Knight of Wands. Oh my God, awesome thing, guys. So the, the week itself, as it is represented by the star card, uh, there is no need to explain that it's going to be quite of a hopeful week, a week where you, especially those Aries which are finding themselves into uh, a really disadvantageable position or kind of lost hope in life, well, that hope is to be regained because the star card for you is promising a fulcrum thing, agenda, enterprise, person, relationship, career, endeavor, whatever, guys, that you can start looking forward to. Even more, the star card here promises that the time of turmoils, the time of, of troubles, you know, the time of havoc are done. They're over. That will be the week of the new fresh start that you are waiting for. So before we go uh, into this, you know, and see how this thing all plays out, let's run the cards one more time. We do have the star card as a the very topic in the um, team of the week, followed by the, the Eight of Wands, which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome here. Then it is the Empress card that represents the positive aspect. And then the last one is going to be the Knight of Wands, which stands for the uh, guidance that Tsar is offering. So Star card. Well, the Star card it is exactly what I said. It is the mark of an end of problems, turmoil, havoc and uh, plights in general. Now, the Star card usually when it, when it manifests itself, it gives you things that you are thrilled about, you know, things that you are having uh, no, no patience whatsoever to wake up on the next day and continue on experiencing it. For example, you know, that could be a, a person that you may start getting into, okay, dating, and you will have now uh, you will so look forward to wake up tomorrow and continue on the chart that you have left the previous day, you know, or to go into the park to hang out together in these kinds of stuff that is just as an example but the thing here it is that uh, throughout this week you are going to find hope you are going to find unfolding love you're going to find unconditional support from those around you you know and slowly um how, how do i say it here uh either 
slowly progressing or all of a sudden you know if if your life up until this point looked like deprived from purpose well it will start worth living again the uh accompanied card uh, that is to start card it is the sun card and that's get even better now we do have a active friends so the sun card points that this joy is going to be very contagious all right uh in the sense of that uh wherever you go people will just kind of feel that pleasant energy you are giving everywhere you go and, and, and you are going to start establishing good connections with the people around you all right as well <clears throat> you're going to start experiencing growth in many fields of your life uh, for example into your career field should you felt miserable until this moment or into your relationship field as well if you felt miserable until this moment the point here it is that not from now on uh, your um, new path in life it's not like even new path in life but let's say that hope of yours is going to start developing very very naturally and the hope itself is gonna feel natural to you something that you worked for all right something that you deserve which uh, makes you very uh, how do i say it kind of like confident of the stability of the whole thing now the challenge here is going to be the eight of wands and we are talking about rushing okay so the challenge is going to be not to rush the whole the whole endeavor here when we talk about the eight of wands uh one needs to kind of have clear clear headed mind in order to um capitalize uh, the most out of what one has to work with okay and being premature uh, being scampered around and, and, and being kind of like frantic it's not gonna help you at all just to give you an example if we're going along with the narrative that you have someone to text with and to date with and these kind of stuff you know a, a new person that you can experience joy and with a possibility for a relationship you know that is a fulcrum for you to look forward to and suddenly one day you wake up and you see no message from him or from her or it doesn't matter you know and you kind of freak out probably imposing that he or she lost interest in you and this kind of stuff and you start bombarding them spamming them with messages why they haven't texted you or why they haven't called you and this kind of stuff you know it's going to help the the the, the uh the deterioration of the situation so do not freak out that is the challenge here be more patient with the situation the accompanied card is going to be the uh, seven of cups formation it is a uh, active enemies that we do have so you have to look objectively to the to, to the whole thing you know uh, but well basically what these cards here point is that you may be prone to uh presume the worst thing that it is happening while in the same time nothing really is happening for example if that person doesn't text you on the next morning you know and you know that they have been partying uh, through the night with their friends the worst thing that you may think of is that they hit another girl you know and they have no interest within you while the the purest explanation here is that they may have a hangover right and just they they are, they haven't wake up yet they they couldn't um soberly answer to the text that you have sent them okay that is the simplest explanation and it is nothing that you have to worry about now the next one it's about the positive aspect of your week and that is going to be the empress card so this week you are going to grow in maturity quite a lot all right you are going to uh, quickly um adopt the uh, the ability to make well-found decisions when it comes to such an important thing as this hope as this new fulcrum for you that you are you're gonna have to look forward to as a new job new friendship new relationship you know it could be as well some sort of a new hobby also and etc etc now the thing with the empress card here is that you need to know that you have the full control over the over your actions and over the direction of these new times of respite okay and 
the results of that either bitter or sweet are going to be yours to collect. And for that reason, whenever you have to make a major decision, all right, should I commit, all right, or should I take this proposition, or should I uh, divulge a certain kind of a situation, that uh, decision should not be provoked by um, <clears throat> by premature instincts but rather you need to think carefully how and when you are to display your intentions your information that you held that you are holding and etc etc because your actions here are gonna have consequences and because it's in a positive position those consequences can skyrocket you into the uh, vast zones of comfort the accompanied card is going to be the temperance formation. It is a, a passive neutrals. So the temperance to the empress card, it does represent uh, the, the, the deprivation of chores. In other words, you don't have to do anything you dislike. Okay, You don't have to make a severe compromises with yourself, with your code of conduct, with your routine, with your daily life in general. As a matter of fact, uh, it will be highly unadvisable for you to make these strong compromises. And also, quickly throughout the week, when we do have these two cards, it is very... Um, likely that you are going to as well transform your ideals in a sense of that you will be more aware of what you exactly want from this hope that comes in your way either in the form of support unfolding love you know new agenda for you to look forward to and etc etc and the last card that we do have for you aries is going to be the knight of wands which is the guidance here and knight of wands points that you need to approach the whole thing in a very enthusiastic and enterprising manner all right and in the same time you should display yourself as a well-determined person someone who is ready to to do whatever it is required to bring the whole thing up until the very end. Additionally to that, the Knights of Wands urges you to be, um, how do you say it? Um, not gentle, but when you, when you help a lot, okay, such kind of person, when you help a lot to other people. Generous, all right, be generous, not with money, but with time, for example, that is my air conditioner, guys, it's gonna stop in a second. So not with money, but with time, for example, with attention, all right, with um, um, understanding as well, commiserating, empathizement, and etc., etc. But the best thing about the Knights of Wands here, Aries, is that you do have options available and you do have the luxury to try out, okay? Because whatever you do, it's not going to bounce you so much back, further back of the point of no return, all right? You do have a an options to try out and to see what works for you in regards to these new circumstances in your life. The accompanied card here is going to be the um, King of Pentacles formation. It is a active neutrals that we do have and that is a call not to be selfish. That is a call to be, um, how do you say it, liberal, all right? to um, assume that people have different interests, that people do have different goals. And throughout these different interests and different goals, you can actually contribute quite a lot for each other as well. So do not be a hermit. It is what those two cards are saying. So that being said, Aries, this was your weekly tarot reading for September 9th to September 15, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And we're going to see each other around. Until then. Bye.